Hey, it's Eric with Cultivate, CultivateColorado.com here again to do another video. Today we're going to be addressing light metric terminology. These are the things that you want to take into consideration when purchasing any kind of new fixture, be it LED, HID, CMH, any of those, okay? So we're gonna start with PAR, which stands for Photosynthetically Available Radiation. All this is referring to is the spectrum of the light that the plants can actually use. It's not an actual metric to uh, measure the intensity of the light. What you're gonna use to measure the intensity is actually PPFD, which stands for the Photosynthetically Active Photon Flux Density. Very sciencey, I am aware. But all this is really referring to is the amount of actual light that is usable by the plant that's reaching the canopy, okay? So it's the amount of photons that's actually landing on the leaf surface. This is what you wanna pay closest attention to when you're purchasing a light. PPFD is, or PAR, they're used interchangeably in our business, are gonna be measured by U-mole squared, okay? So when you're looking at a number on a PAR meter, 500, 600, 700, that is referring to the U-mole. So when you're looking at the box of a fixture that you're purchasing, you're gonna to wanna to look at the U-mole. This is gonna tell you how much total light is produced by the light, okay? Now the wattage of the light with the U-mole production is gonna give you your U-mole efficiency, which is going to really separate the LED lights from any of your high intensity discharge lighting. So a thousand watt HID light will produce a similar total U-mole to a 700 watt LED light. So the total amount of U-mole is the same, but the amount produced per watt is going to be significantly more with an LED light, making it significantly more efficient and producing way less heat. And finally, just something to uh, broach on is the spectrum of the light. So this is just referring to the wavelength. In vegetative growth, we want a more blue-centric uh, spectrum. This is gonna be a higher Kelvin. Spectrum is measured by Kelvin, so four to 6,000 Kelvin is going to be your blue range. And then your red range for flowering is gonna be in your lower between 2,800 and 3,600 Kelvin. So that'll just read as a K after the number, okay? So that's pretty much all you need to know about the specs for when you're purchasing brand new lights. Just something I thought would be good to know when making large purchases of lighting fixtures. If you found this information helpful or useful, please give us a like and a subscribe. And if you want to have any questions, refer to the link below or give us a call at the number listed below.